All right. Welcome to episode one of season two of the Haunted Doll series that I'm doing. And this one is going to be a little bit different because I've actually had experiences with this one. But the most recent one, this damn thing. Okay. My wife and I were at a store. The ladies working at the store gave this doll to my wife because they claimed that it had water damage and stuff like that. But since we've had it in our house, the damn thing has moved multiple times. It caused, since this was in our house, multiple things in the house have moved. And most, and it has a habit of moving on its own. Like, most recently, this damn thing flew like six or eight feet by itself. Because I had it sitting on top of a uh, armoire. And it flew halfway across the bedroom. And there was nothing or no one within 20 feet of the damn thing when that happened. So, I'm going to sit here and film it and see what happens. If there's a spirit attached to this doll, can you move the doll? Can you speak into the thing that's laying there making all that noise? Can you do something to show you're here? And don't be afraid. I'm just trying to catch. There's a lot of people out there who don't believe in things like you. And I'm trying to prove whether or not you're real. If you're attached to this doll, move one of the arms or move the head or do something. Or speak into this. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not going to do anything to you. I just want to know. Number one, I want to know what your name is. So what is your name? How old are you? Are you male or are you female? How did you end up attached to this doll? Why are you attached to the doll? Was this your toy when you were alive? Man, this is weird, because this doll is usually really active, apparently it's shy, now that I got a camera aimed at it, it doesn't want to do anything. Don't be shy. Come out and talk to me. Move the doll. I know you can move it because I've seen you move the doll.
Move the doll. Why are you being... <laughs> oh, this is getting on my nerves because... Usually, this damn thing is moving all over the place and really active. And I don't mean like it gets up and walks around or anything, but the damn thing will literally just fly across the room. But then again, maybe it's because there's a spirit in the house that doesn't like the doll. I don't know. Because I've never actually seen the arms move or legs move or anything like that. All I ever see is a doll go flying. So maybe there's a spirit inside the house that hates dolls or something. I thought that there was something attached to the damn doll because of how often it goes flying across the room. So I've had it, we've had it in three or four different spots in the house. And every time I we move it, it ends up going flying. And not only that, I thought there was something attached to it too because my cats are always so interested in it. Like, they'll go up and they'll be like... They'll act like... They'll treat this doll like it's a human. They'll act the same way towards a doll that they act towards a human. Which is another thing that made me believe there's something attached to it. But... For whatever reason, the damn thing is not doing anything. And I'm not trying to be rude or aggressive towards whatever spirit is attached to it, if there is one attached to it. I'm simply trying to get you to show yourself. Because like I said... This thing in my hand will allow people to see you if you move. And I also want to show that there's nothing, no strings, nothing in case it moves. And I'll move my hands all the way around it to show you that there's nothing, there's nothing anywhere. Let me get down here like this. On your level, because I'm almost seven feet tall, so that might be a little bit intimidating for something trapped inside of a doll. This thing is moving. That's not me shaking this. The thing that the doll is sitting on, the freezer, is actually moving. Because it's moving so much that it's shaking me. It's really shaking me. That's why the camera is wobbling a little bit. Because I'm sitting, kneeling down in front of it. Or beside it, I should say. This is weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's only the top part of it that's moving, because I just felt it the side and it's not doing anything. For some reason, the whole top of the freezer is, like, shaking. And it wasn't doing that. It doesn't normally do that. There is nothing coming through the spirit box. Nothing. This is weird. This spirit box is not normally this quiet. Whatever, I maybe whatever's attached to this is, what the fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> I 
maybe whatever is attached to this is preventing anything from coming through that because normally there will be voices coming through that every few seconds and that's another reason that I don't believe in these things as far as spirit boxes go I don't believe they're a legitimate way to communicate because every other time I've tried to use one I've had voices coming through it like every few seconds and I've had people on the radio come through and music from the radio come through and stuff like that and just things that led me to believe they're bullshit and for whatever reason whatever is attached to this doll seems to be afraid to show itself on camera Am I, am I intimidating you, or are you afraid of the camera, or this thing making noise? Is that what's scaring you, or because you don't usually seem to be afraid of me? Because normally you're moving all around and going flying across the room. All I want is for you to move. Just once on camera so I can capture it. Just once. And then I'll leave you alone. I'll put you away and I'll find somewhere to put you where you can be alone. If that's what you want. What is it that you want? Do you want to be alone? Or do you want friends? Do you want people to talk to you? Tell me what it is you want, and I'll try to do my best to help you. But that's really all I want to do, is help you. I want to better understand why you're here. There was something just came through, but I didn't understand it. That was like a... Uh, Just once, just move for me just one time. That's all I'm asking. Or say something to me. Tell me what it is you, that you want and why you're attached to this doll. All I'm asking is just Are you here? Can you hear me? If you don't do something to show me something within the next minute, I'm going to end the video, and then, you'll, then you won't have this opportunity again. So you need to move the doll, or start talking to me. Do something to let me know you're here, and that you can understand me, that you can hear me. Tell me your name. What is your name? Whoa. Something just pulled, tried to pull my iPhone out of my hand. I just felt something tug. Was that you that just tugged on the, tried to tug the phone right out of my hand? Something literally just grabbed the phone and tried to tug it out of my hand. 
Okay. <laughs> I felt that. Thank you for letting me know that you were here. I guess that was your way of letting me know. So I'll keep filming. Since you did that. Can you move the doll for me now? Can you tell me your name? Where'd you go? You were here a minute ago because you tried to yank the phone out of my hand. Can you do something else? Don't mess with the phone because this thing costs like two grand. <laughs> but you're free to move the doll or the thing that's on the other, the spirit box or whatever. Just do something to let me know you're still with me. Or say something. Do something that'll let me know that you're still here. Otherwise, I'm going to stop recording. And that'll be the end of your chance to communicate. Because if you don't start moving the doll or talking to me, then I'm going to have to stop recording and I probably won't ever record another video with you if you don't show me more than just trying to take the phone out of my hand because people can't see that at least i don't think they could see it unless there was something on camera that i didn't see you have to provide something on video for the people watching to be able to see that way they have some type of way of knowing that you're real that is the purpose of this. Proving to the people watching this whether or not you're real. Because a lot of people don't believe you are. And it's not just you specifically. There are a lot of people that don't believe in spirits or ghosts or whatever you want to call yourself. A lot of people think paranormal is fake. So my goal is to prove whether or not you're real. And it's really that simple. So if you are real, which I think you are because you just literally tried to take my phone out of my hand while I was holding it. <laughs> and now... I think it's a kid because the force when whatever it was moved the phone and tried to pull it out of my hand that was like a small kid type you know trying to get my attention type thing so are you a kid if you're a kid can you move the doll to let me know you're that you are a kid if you're a boy if you're a little boy move the doll's left hand if you're a little girl move the doll's right hand that has a flower in it
I guess you're not with me anymore. Yeah, I don't think that whatever was here is with me anymore. Had for a split second, I had something messing with me because it tried to take my phone right out of my hand. But now there's nothing. It's gone completely silent. Nothing's happening anymore. And that was the only thing that's happened that I know of the whole time I've been filming. If you don't let me know you're here, within the next minute, I'm going to cut this off and stop recording. And this is your only opportunity that you're going to have with me to show me that you're real. If you don't do anything within the next minute, I will stop recording and I will put you away. And I don't know how long it's going to be before anyone sees you again, if they see you again. So this is your one and only chance. To let people know that you are real. So if you're here, if you're attached to this doll, let me know now. Do something to prove you're real. Otherwise, you're going to be put away. And I really don't want to put you away without knowing whether or not you are here. And that you are attached to this doll. I want proof of that first before I put you away. So far, the only thing that's happened is you tried to yank the phone out of my hand. So, one last opportunity. You got about 30 seconds. If you don't do anything in the next 30 seconds, you're gone. And like I said, I don't know when the next time you'll be coming out will be, if you do at all. Because you're not providing me the proof I need. Do something now. Stop acting like you're afraid. I want you to scare the shit out of the people watching this. Move the doll. Make the doll run. Do something crazy. You're not going to scare me. I don't scare you. I want you to scare the people watching this. That's the goal. Do something. Come on. Can you please do something? Move the doll, do something. I want to see you do something. Do something like you do when you're in the house. Move the doll. Just one time, that's all. Just once. That's all I need from you is just one thing. Just move the doll. Just once, please. Just one time.
does once. Come on. What in the hell? Okay. Thank you. How the hell that? That just barely miss hit me. All right, thank you for, I don't know if you did anything as far as moving the doll because I wasn't really paying attention to the doll the whole time I was filming. But I do know you moved that tape measure because it just barely missed hitting me and it was behind me. So thank you for that. 